Happening today, one last chance for parents in Pasco County to sound off about where their kids will go to school. Many are upset over plans to change that. Again, a judge already vetoed previous plans from the school board. Avery Cotton reports on the latest chapter of this boundary battle that's been going on for nearly two years. Many parents I've spoken with are frustrated because they actually bought the house they're living in right now just so their kids could go to a certain school. What is the perfect solution here? It's the question Pasco School Board members, worried parents, and frustrated students all have different answers to. It's instability. They never know until the last minute where they're going. Um, we're just getting moved again. It's the exact same map that was voided by the judge. Katie Beckett is just one of many Pasco parents with this same concern. For nearly two years, the school board has been tackling school boundaries. Many children getting bounced around while kinks get worked out. What they need to do is go back to the drawing board and start over. That's exactly what they did after a judge vetoed a plan back in January, saying it didn't follow the law. The board offered to let parents voice their concerns via email. Superintendent Kurt Browning telling Aid on Your Side they are taking these worries seriously. We're not going to do anything that we believe that would adversely impact kids. Ultimately, he decided on the same plan as before with minor tweaks. The map currently proposed does absolutely nothing to um, achieve the ultimate goal of filling under capacity schools. These moms telling me it will change their lives. And then also with our kids going that far away and us not living in that community, our eyes and ears as parents for each other's children are taken away. Tonight's public hearing is set for 5 o'clock here at the school board headquarters in Landa Lakes. The new plan will be adopted sometime at the beginning of next month. It will go into effect over the summer. In Landa Lakes, Avery Cotton, News Channel 8.